In this lesson, you will be learning how to calculate elapsed time on an open number line. Now, elapsed time means how much time has gone by, like how much time is between two particular times on the clock, or how long it's going to take you to get somewhere, um, or whatever. So that's what elapsed time means, time that has gone by. You already know how to use an open number line to round numbers, so we're going to talk about three kinds of elapsed time, where you're given only the hours, you need to know how much time in between the hours, the hours and the minutes, so you need to know how much time between two times in hours and minutes, and then where you know the amount of time something takes, but you either have an unknown beginning or an unknown end time. So let's look at where you're given the hours only, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So let's say that the word problem says that you're going to meet your friend at McDonald's to play in the play place from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. So what you want to do is draw your open number line and you need two vertical lines, one at each end of your number line. This is your beginning time and this is your ending time. So we're going to write our beginning time in here, 10 o'clock a.m. and our ending time is 1 o'clock p.m. Now I want to know how many hours are in between there. So I'm going to count off the hours on the clock. So here's 10 o'clock, here's 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, and there's 1 o'clock. Now I don't want to count the vertical lines. Students will often do that, but that's incorrect. This is one hour in this space here. This space is one hour and this space is one hour. So we're going to label each space with one hour. And it's important that you put hour because when you get to the minutes one, you need to know the difference. You can't add the two together. So I have one, two, three hours. So 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. is three hours. Okay, the next one is hours and minutes. So let's say that the babysitter was at your house from 4 p.m. to 8.20 p.m. and your parents need to figure out how much to pay her. So you draw an open number line, again with your beginning and end times. Now, because this ends with minutes, it's not um, zeros at the end, we know that we're going to have an hour here and then we're going to have some amount of minutes. So let's go ahead and count off the hours. So we have 5 o'clock, oops, <clears throat> 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 8 o'clock. So we know that these spaces here are one hour. This one is not, so we're not going to write one hour here. So we have one hour, one hour, one hour, one hour, and then from 8 o'clock to 8.20 is 20 minutes. Now hours and minutes are different, so you can't just add the, you can't say 20 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. You have to count up your hours, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 hours, and then you have 20 minutes. So 4 o'clock p.m. to 8.20 p.m. is 4 hours and 20 minutes. Okay, now let's say that you have an unknown end time. So you're leaving at 4 o'clock p.m. and you're going to drive for one and a half hours. You want to know what time you will get there. So let's draw the open number line. Beginning time, end time. You still put a mark for it even if you don't know what it is. Here's your beginning time. Here's your end time. We know that it's 4 o'clock p.m. And we don't know what time the end time is, but we know how long it took, one and a half hours. So I'm going to mark one hour, and then a half an hour is 30 minutes. So 4 o'clock, the next hour is 5 o'clock, and 30 more minutes would be 
5.30 p.m. So you will arrive at 5.30 p.m. Let's say that you're going to a birthday party that begins at 3.30 and it takes 30 minutes to get ready and 15 minutes to drive there. So what time should you start getting ready for this party? So we're going to draw our open number line. Now the party begins at 3.30, but that's really your end time because you're talking about the time to get ready and to get there. So our end time is 3.30. We don't know what time to start getting ready. So that's really our beginning time. And that's where you have to watch in some of these word problems because they try to trip you up with that. So we have an unknown beginning time. So it takes 30 minutes to get ready, 15 minutes to get there. So here we have 15 minutes. And we have 30 minutes of drive time. So we're going to work backwards. 3.30 minus 15 minutes. 30 minus 15 is 3.15 p.m. Notice we're not working in even hours, but that's okay because we're working backwards. Then 3.15 minus 30 minutes. This is where it gets a little tricky. So if you draw yourself a quick clock with a big hand, 3.15, it's pointing at the 3. If you go back 30 minutes, there's 15 would be at the 12. Back 15 more, 15 and 15 is 30, it would be pointing at the 9. So if the big hand is at the 9, that's 45 minutes. And you went backwards, so it's the hour before. It's no longer 3, it is 2. So 2.45 p.m., oops is when you should start getting ready and so that you can get there by 3.30 p.m. This one's a little trickier because you have to work backwards. You really have to know your clock in order to do this. So that is how you calculate elapsed time on an open number line. And as I said before, you'll have three kinds of problems that you can use this for. The kinds of problems are where you know the hours only, hours and minutes, and you have the unknown beginning and end times. The hardest one is where you know the end time and you've got to figure out the beginning time. But um, it's all doable on the open number line.